Yeah. Um, I thought the fourth line bought in. I thought they were good tonight. Um, obviously, we had a bunch of guys that had tough nights, but we had no st- uh, stop and start in the game. Our defensive zone, there's just no stop and start. It, like, we gave in. You know, I thought the power play, if we score there, a couple of goals, maybe we tie it, but we get some energy. We had some energy there a little bit when we had possession, but we, we just weren't gritty enough, you know, the wall work. The value, the little things, and, uh, you know, we're going to have to keep uh, stripping this down until we get it right. I know it's early, right, but is there a bit of a frustration level on your part because you keep talking about the things that you need to do and you're just not seeing it consistently enough? Well, obviously, you know, it's not frustration. It's just like, you know, it's my job, the coaches, to, to make these guys understand stuff, you know. Um, we're going to practice tomorrow, and we're going to have to go back to grade school on how to defend, how to stop and start, because uh, too many guys are spinning. Um, a very high-risk team. You know, I thought we, in the road trip, we thought some parts of our game, I thought we got it, but then, uh, you know, we get this high risk, and... Um, you know, some of the better players tonight, you know, they're just too risky for me. I know it's only been eight games, but this is the 25th time that this team surrendered five goals or more yeah. in a game. Does that surprise you based on what you're seeing? That, that we surrendered them? I mean, not really. I mean, it's been like that all year. It's, uh, you know, I thought we chipped away a little bit, but, uh, you know, bad habits come back. Um, but you, you, you got to take pride in defending. You got to take pride in blocking a shot or, getting the puck out and uh, in a stop and start game. Um, yeah, you got that pride. Your discipline was obviously better than Saturday, but still, it's a one other game in the final minute of the first, and their only power play, they score um, all season. I mean, the penalty kill at 65%. Yeah. Do you think with this personnel that you guys can make a dent and, and improve this? Yeah, I know. I, I thought in the, this road trip, our penalty kill. I know there's the stats lie, but I thought we were coming there. Um, we're trying to get some other guys to penalty kill, but you know, we had the puck on our stick. We didn't get it out. I mean, that's just you know, it's not system on that play. You got to, you got to. It's gritty. Get it out. You know, and then uh, you leave a guy back door. What's behind your decision to have to just have to take the penalty shot? You had to pick somebody on the ice. Mm-hmm. So, you and, seen that and I thought he's been working hard. So why not? Excuse me, have you ever seen that rule before in practice? What's that? The last minute delay of game penalty shot? Uh, maybe, yeah, a long time ago. I can't even remember. Yeah. 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 Yep. You, you talked a few times on the road trip about third periods and line changes and all that. What happened on that 5 1 goal? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's, uh, we, you know, that's one thing I thought we were, we were good at the last six games. We were getting better at short shift lengths and body language, but that was. Obviously not good. Um, yeah, not sure what people were thinking on that play. I don't have that. I don't have an answer for you on that one. Rick, granted, your team's been trailing a fair bit, and it's a small sample of games. But it feels like there's been six games where, results aside, your team's mostly controlled play five on five, and then you've got Seattle, and then you've got tonight. Yeah. How do you sort of deal with a, a team where you know they're capable of one thing, but Clearly, they're capable yeah. of this, too. Well, it's hard to be consistent. It's hard to win. It's hard to be part of the process. It's hard to stop and start. And we just, like I said, we've got to strip it down, and we've got to just, you know, make people understand how important it is to do these hard things to win. It, it, it's a start from the first goal, you know, uh, throwing a puck away, and we give, a, you know, their best player a breakaway to start. It's, it's you know, we talked about it. Um, we had a good practice, you know, half decent practice yesterday, but uh, you know, it just that then the ball starts right there, you know. Then you get some guys get frustrated, smash and stuff, which, you know, no more smashing sticks and stuff. They, like you can't be entitled in this game. It's it's a it's a hard game to play, and we got to stick together. Um, that's just the way it is. That's what teams do. Good teams do. When you talk about to you at all, sorry. you wouldn't like this game no matter when it came. Yeah, but. It came after a road trip where, he, as you said, he did a lot of good things, and it just seems like a big step back tonight. Is that harder to take at this stage? You've been here almost three weeks. Well, I think it's a learning lesson for me because you can say, okay, we had six and four, but you know, other teams go through the same thing. That's why structure, discipline, you know, leadership, they get you through these games when you just maybe don't have your best. You know, I know some guys maybe didn't have their legs. If you don't have your legs, then you got to play smart hockey. You know, you have to – 
you know, don't chase the game. Don't have 2D below the hash marks on a play. Like, you got to be smart. Um, you know, every has duds, don't get me wrong. We, you know, obviously, we've had our share uh, over the, this year, but you, you, you got to... You got to win those games when you just don't have your best. You know, you you got to pack it in. We we got to protect the gutsy ice. And that's like tomorrow. Tomorrow practice is is going to be uh, protect the guts type of practice. We have to. It's uh, too many of those cross ice passes. I've seen a lot of them this year. Rick, when you say strip it down, sorry, just what specifically do you mean in terms of work? Well, just you know, we're going to have to go through. You know, like I said, I'm not going to complain and bitch about. We haven't had any practice time, but we really have to. It's like basically almost go through walkthroughs. You know, when the puck is here, you got to be here. And then when it goes over here, you got to be here. We have to really almost go to that. You know, I've done it before. I've, I've been with coaches. I've done it before sometimes, and I think it helps. It's got, it has to help this team because, um, and plus, I think when guys get tired, they kind of shut their brain off, right? And um, you got to have, I call it break the seal. When you're tired, you still got to be, you got to be in, you still got to be focused. And I think, Sometimes when guys are tired, they just kind of, well, I'll just, you know, I'll spin here, I'll go here, and you just can't have that. You just can't have it.